National Letter of Intent Day came and went on Wednesday without a whole lot of fanfare locally. That's the day, incidentally, the country's top high school football seniors officially commit to the college they've chosen. A number of area players did get full scholarships and will be playing Division I football next year. Two of the most sought-after players in the area were Berwick's Joe Orlando and Andy Mills. And today, they told me they had finally made up their minds. Orlando, quarterback and defensive back, visited places like Ohio State and Pittsburgh, but decided on West Virginia. Well, it was like a sort of a town, you know, like a college town. And uh, I'm used to living like in a small town, so I figured, you know, I had everything I wanted. I had the opportunity to play in the secondary, which I, you know, I like to play in the secondary in college. And I feel the best opportunity to play at that college is why I chose it. Mills, the bruising fullback linebacker, also visited several of the big schools, but finally settled on Mississippi. I think Ole Miss was about the nicest one. It was like a town sort of like Berwick. It's not very big. You know, in academics, it was beautiful. And uh, you know, the other schools were in big cities, and I didn't really want to go to a big city. It was no surprise that Berwick's kids received so much attention. They were, after all, named in one national poll as the number one high school team in America. Still, one traditional area recruiter stayed away. The biggest schools were in here, you know, except Penn State. You know, I, I, I don't know what their thinking is, but, you know, who am I to question uh, Penn State and their staff? They do a great job down there. Mm -hmm. Interesting thing is, this is the first year that I can remember where Penn State and Pitt didn't actively recruit or land one of our area kits.